The sun is out, the sky is blue. Not a cloud to spoil the view, but is it raining in our hearts? A little bit, maybe, a little bit. We're all worried about what's gonna go on. Me, I don't worry. Breathe in, breathe out. Everything else is a bonus. Let's help hope that people see sense in what is going on in this, uh, this war. This is what it is. This is not a special project, Mr. Putin. This is a war. This is genocide against the Ukrainian people. When are the wonderful people of Russia going to rise up and realize that what you're doing is killing innocent women and children? And you're fighting against your friends, as the president said. You won't see our backs. You'll only see our faces. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I don't know how the Russian people were treated in the Donbass region or whatever it's called. No, there's always something else political. All I can go on is the fact that this is not good for anybody. And the brave Ukrainian president must try and seek a way of getting a sit down with Mr. Putin. And Mr. Putin, you've got to sit down, take, oh, where did you get that coat? That was a terrific coat, wasn't it, really? Dictators are not supposed to wear coats like that. Very similar, your rant in the, uh, in the football stadium, wasn't it? To something similar years ago, 1939, perhaps? Anyway, let's, uh, let's hope that, that as the daffodils come out, people will start to feel a little better as winter moves away in this dodgy old spring. The COVID is going, it's going to come back a little bit, but it will go away. The Russians... Uh, will we'll see sense and do something about Mr. Despot. Uh, all the oligarch, olig olig where, where do you think that word comes from, Jake, an oligarch? It sounds something, like doesn't it? You know, like your clacker lacker. You can imagine a doctor saying, open your mouth. Oh my God, you've got trouble with your oligarch. Pardon? Your oligarch's all gone funny. We'll have to repossess its boats. Anyway, the daffodils are out. Do you remember that old joke of the trade unionists? Fred, I see the daffodils are out. Yes, are we coming out with them? Wow, that was when jokes were jokes. Let's have a look at the papers today. The Daily Mail reports, I read that online, it's very good online, because in the margins, it's all porn, um, soft porn. The Mail reports, this is the headline, 10,000 Russians dead. They're going on about the, uh, the cost of living with fuel rising, you know, a, a litre of fuel now is dearer than a litre of whiskey. Might have to start drinking diesel. Um, and here it is, the big news, especially in the sun. Gemma Collins has lost weight. Isn't that good? Now, Gemma Collins, what is she? I've been looking at all these young people of a certain age like that. A, they all look alike. They all look exactly the same. I think if you want to put these swimwear models in the newspapers, just put one and just keep putting her in. Just change the colour, you know, of the costume. It'll be fine. Here's another one. Mm, here's another one. Mm, selfie. They're called influencers, aren't they? So everyone else looks at them and they think, oh, I really want to look like Katie Price. Are you mad? Have you seen her boat race? Have you seen her Bristol's? Well, I don't know who you're going to influence. The, oh, dear, oh, dear. They used to be, what are they, role models. Is that what it is? So Gemma Collins and all you people with lips like 12-seater ribs and eyebrows like ventriloquist dolls, you're all influencing other young women. Do you remember your mother used to say, oh, if he put his head in a gas oven, would you as well? Do you remember saying that? She said that to me when I was a skinhead. It's like lemmings. They all go together and they jump off the cliff, don't they? Well, let's have a look at what else is going on in the papers. And I just want to talk about this before I go and speak to my members at uh, Ustream. Oh, uh, listen, listen, on YouTube, you've been fantastic. Everyone's been fantastic. Stick the old finger down on the, what's it called? Subscribe thing. It doesn't cost you anything, just subscribe. It costs you if you join Ustream, but then you get all the other goodies. But we decided to put Red, White and Blue Nose Day on YouTube, it's still on there. It's two hours long, two hours of knicker wetting fun. Don't you worry about that. And thanks for donating. You can still donate. Text donate to double six treble seven. Help us help the veterans that are taking medical supplies to Ukraine. Help us help the care after combat who are looking after our veterans that have fell through the cracks and are in the criminal justice system. And best of all, for me, the Case the Loaf Boat crew who've got to get a new large boat. I'm going up there tomorrow or Thursday to help launch the thing and we're gonna give them uh, a check. I think it's about 10,000 pounds uh, we have got uh, for them. And, uh, 
Yeah, good old bunch of boys, but well done. And let's just talk about uh, this trans swimmer. I think something, Leah, Leah something or other, this girl's name is. And, and let's talk about this, because it's been in the papers. Leah stands about eight foot tall with all these other little girls that refuse to get on the podium with Leah because they don't think it's fair. He's got hands like table tennis bats and, and size 27 feet. That she has, I beg your pardon, Leah, I didn't mean to be disrespectful, it's just a slip of the tongue that people get accused of being uh, hateful. I'm not being hateful, I'm being forgetful. But anyway, let's have a look at this. Now, some other people have come up in arms about this, about transgender swimming. Lord Coe, Seb Coe, said that gender should not outweigh biological stuff. Something has got to happen, but I want to ask this question. Here's some people, Caitlin... Caitlin Jenkins and Martina Strap One Honor, right, have said that something's got to be done about this because it's not right. Now, don't forget, Caitlin Jennings is a transvestment person herself, and Martin Strap One Honor, well, that's a ridiculous name, Martin Navratilova, who I once joked won the mixed doubles on her own, is a lesbian. Sharon Davis, beautiful. I chatted her up once on the generation. Oh, I had this thing about, I have this thing about fantasy women, Liz Hurley who I love. I hope you're getting better now after poor old Shane Warne's funeral, but uh, yeah, of course I love you. Sharon Davis was the one, and she came on the Generation game, and I was confessing my love to her in front of the cameras, and they didn't tell me the buggers, that her boyfriend walked on, who's a real handsome black, black belt judo, a black person with a black belt. Well, I wound my neck in very quickly. Anyway, they're going on about this uh, transgender uh, person winning the swimming and they're referred to as TERFs, trans exclusionary radical feminists. Well look at it this way, if we're going to ban a woman who is now a trans uh, sexual trans thingy, a trans woman, okay, because that trans woman is better than all that, it's difficult to say isn't it, it it's confusing. So where does it go? Are we going to ban black athletes from the uh, 100 yards or the 100 metres? White athletes are, are not going to be able to compete at all. So what is it all about? Sort it out, for God's sake. Anyway, I'm going over a stream now before I get in trouble.